Hey everybody, how's it going? I know it's been a while. I was gonna do vlogist, and uh, I hope I can get more videos in. Like I said, August is our busy month. So uh, the last you saw, we were going north to Denali National Park to meet somebody. Um, we had sold something on Craigslist, and he lives way, way north, so we met in the middle, which was Denali Park. And uh, while walking around there, it was very humid and really hot for the locals, and <laughs> somebody had suggested, well, maybe I had gotten heat exhaustion because I was... I just did not do good at all, and yes, I was hydrated, um, but I wasn't able to go into the last two shops there, which uh, probably turned out to be okay, because Jeff said there really wasn't anything in there. It took me about 24 hours or so to recover from that, um, and then I've... <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of the weather or what, but I haven't been feeling all that great. Got a headache. Um, seems like every day I get up and I'm doing okay and go, 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 and then boom, I'm done. So today has been a better day. Um, I figured I better get this up before, uh, <laughs> before I start feeling even more yucky. So... Anyhow, what we have today is uh, a whip, well, still two whips, and some goodies from the park and some FOs. So here we go. For uh, Nan's Next, not, not luck of the draw. Oops, sorry. Last week she picked number six, and ooh, no, it's not blue. Well, it's not blue, it's very purple. Matter of fact, it's called Grapeette. It was my color, and it's still connected. And again, it's, it's not blue, <laughs> it is purple. Uh, well, you can kind of see the difference in the in the color. So yeah, um, that was week three. So waiting patiently for week four. And my fun fuddy yeti is still at the place it was the last time you saw it. Uh, so, for finished objects, I have washcloths for Lynette for um, wings and multiple different, obviously, patterns, colors. We've got green, red, a couple of different pinks, purple and blue, a peach color a burgundy color, and a purple color. This is one of my favorites because it's different. It can be used as a washcloth or a dishcloth. But it's purple and it's a hexagon. So we have those as a finished object and needed to get to Lynette so she can get them to um, Rose at Rose likes crochet. Um, so, yeah. Um, I also got for myself because I'm tired of my patterns having check marks on them and erasing them, check marks, erasing them. Uh, so I got these plastic covers. And it's not a new idea. I stole it from many people, but you put your pattern in it. And I have my um, 
magnet, that's the double-sided magnet that um, I put down at the bottom of where I am and it holds nicely in this pretty little, of course it's blue, pretty little pouch. You can use dry erase on it so you know you can put it on the outside. Uh, my biggest thing is it would probably end up erased but obviously with that pattern you'd be able to figure out what uh, and where you were. Uh, let's see. So some of the goodies that I got while we were in the park, um, it started at uh, the Harley Davidson shop. Again, I was super duper hot. The t-shirt I had on was a thick, dark t-shirt. Didn't bring a thinner shirt or a tank top, sleeveless, whatever. And we went into the Harley shop and I found a perfect sleeveless very thin t-shirt and my size so I was like oh yay well before I went to the counter I looked at the price and went hmm this could feed small children in a small village so I decided no I can't do that Hindsight 2020, that money may have been <laughs> wisely spent. No. But instead, I bought some window clings uh, with Mount McKinley, which is the old name. I wish it did say Denali, but Harley Davidson, Denali, Alaska, and a whole bunch of these. Uh, this will be going down south. My sister and brother-in-law rode quite a bit. And the last thing that I had shared with them was the furthest north Denali, or furthest north, north Harley shop, wow, which is up in Fairbanks. I uh, got them t-shirts and stuff, so I think they'd like that too. I also got some stickers, which I'm not going to show all of them because they are going out to some people. But this one, you know, is a given because it shows the actual size of our state within the United States, which, you know, yeah, we are United States, but um the rest of them sorry they're stay they're staying hidden <laughs> but i had to show you the alaska one and last but not least sorry green as, as it said crinkles noise uh got some fabric and as most everybody who knows me knows ravens are our bird we love 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 ravens and they had some batik raven patterns or raven fabric and it's not showing up nearly as bright as the red is but there's that one this one is black with of course, upside down with the ravens. And this one is my absolute favorite, Jean. I wonder why. Because it's blue. And, and again, if people, people who know me know, Jeff and I fell madly in love with each other in front of the otters at the uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. So if I can find anything with otters on it, I try to pick it up. And these ones are a little harder to see, but here are a couple otters here. 
and oops, turn it around that way. So what I have planned for these, hmm, not sure yet. <laughs> you know, like crocheting. You see something you like, you pick it up and wait for it to scream at you, hey, I want to do that. So anyhow, uh, life here is good. Uh, like I said, we're just recuperating from our trip. We did have a little bit of doggy drama uh, a couple of days ago, a couple nights ago, on Sunday night after 10. No vet office is open. Um, we you know, live out in the middle of nowhere, so we get all kinds of different animals here. Well, a porcupine decided that it wanted to come see what was up. And so did the dogs, and the dogs wanted to make friends with the porcupine with their noses and mouths. So, yeah, we had a few uh, porcupine quills that Jeff and I did end up pulling, um, and were able to pull, and they're doing fine, except for our shepherd. The porcupine made its way all the way up to the house into our carport and was underneath a trailer and Loki nosed it and luckily this time there was only like three or four quills and Jeff was able to do that by himself because unfortunately holding her down I tweaked my shoulder again but it's all good I can still move it you know still do everything that I need to do chore-wise, etc. So it's it's the homestead life, you know. <laughs> you take the good and you take some of the bad. But so far, it's been a wonderful homestead life. Anyhow, I hope everybody is doing great and staying safe. Uh... If it's hot where you're at, I hope it's cooler. If it's not hot where you're at, I hope it gets warmer for you. Anyway, everybody have a great day and a better week. Love you all. Remember, smile at the jerks. Yes, please do. Some of us jerks need a smile once in a while. Anyhow, everybody have a good day.